What is going on guys? Rodney here with Crypto Bros and in tonight's video I'm going to do a A to Z tutorial on how to use Binance. We're going to walk through everything from setting it up to making your first trade to depositing money to withdraw money and even selling on the platform. So with that being said, let's get right into this. So what I want you guys to do first is go to www.binance.com. Once you log in there, it will bring you to a page like this. Very self-explanatory, all we're gonna do is go up here and click register. When you click register, it's gonna bring up a page that looks like this. You're just gonna put your email here, your password here, you're gonna reconfirm your password, and then this referral ID is optional. Um, I do have my referral link posted down below. Anyone is free to use that. What this does for you is it takes your trading transactions from 1% and cuts it down to a half percent. And then um, as a kickback, uh, from Binance to me for using my referral link, I get the other 50%. You totally don't have to use my referral link, but if you want to, um, that link is below, but otherwise that's not the point of this video. So again, email, password, reconfirm, then you're gonna click I agree to Binance's terms of use and you will click register. From there, um, you're actually gonna get an email that looks like this. So if you typed in supercooldude at yahoo.com, you go to that website, you find the email from Binance, and you click verify your email. After you do that, it's gonna bring up a new window, and it's gonna look something like this. It won't have this goofy thing up here yet, but all you're gonna do is uh, click here, and you're gonna enter in your, your email address, and then you're gonna click here and put in your password. After, excuse me, after you hit enter, it's gonna bring up this funky puzzle piece. And uh, what this is, is it's just a security measure. So you're gonna click this circle and you're gonna use the slider to drag literally a puzzle piece somewhere on the screen and just kind of fit it in place. All that is is a security measure to make sure you're not some weird robot or anything. From that, it will bring you to this page where you would put in your Google Authenticator code Chances are, if this is the first time you are setting up Binance's, you do not have that set up, but I will cover that in a second. I'm not gonna be showing you how to set up Google Authenticator, but I will show you where to go to set that up for a safety measure, and I do highly recommend that. So after you do log in, um, you will go to a page that looks like this. Now this is just your general information. Your email will be here. It will tell you what type of level user you are, and then right down here is where you can actually um, you can you can set up your Google Authenticator. Definitely do this at some point if you have this account, uh, if you have your Binance account open for safety measures. But to get into the rest of this tutorial, the very first place I want you guys to go is go up to the Exchange tab and then just down to Basic. And we're just going to get a quick snapshot of um, what the trading platform looks like. So if you click basic, it brings you to a page that looks like this. Now you'll just see, this is just a snapshot. Um, you'll see here, here are the candles of the, of the um, trades that are going on and the price variations. Right here are all the coins um, that are on Binance. Right here are your sell orders and right here are your buy orders. Down at the bottom part is where we're gonna do our buying and our selling. We will get to that in a minute, but the very first thing we have to do is get some funds into our account so we can make these things happen. So all we're gonna do is we're gonna go up to the funds tab and we're going to click deposits withdraws. Now we're gonna be referencing the funds tab a lot so take note of where that is. So again, funds, deposits, and withdrawals. After you click that, um, it brings you to a page that looks like this. Now this just has all the different coins on here. If you have money on the account, it will show that here. But what I want you guys to do for your very first time users is to click um, in this box right here, and we're gonna be sending over Bitcoin. You can send over Bitcoin and Ethereum, but for this example, we're gonna be sending over Bitcoin, and I'm telling you to type it in here, that way there's no mistakes, you know, when you're over here on the right-hand side, clicking deposit or withdraw. So just type it in here, very easy to do. Um, type in BTC right here, it will take all the other wallets away, and you'll just have your Bitcoin wallet up. From there, we're gonna go over to the right-hand side of the page and we're gonna click this deposit button and then this box right here will pop up. Now, this is your deposit address for Binance. And you have to remember, anytime you are moving money you know, to one wallet from another, you have to pull the money in, you cannot push it. So we're gonna, we're gonna click this and we're gonna copy this wallet address in. 
From there, you're gonna to go to whatever outside wallet that you normally use. In our example today, we're gonna to be using Coinbase. So I want you to go log into your Coinbase account, and the very first thing you're gonna do is once you logged in is click accounts. After you click accounts, it will bring you to all your different wallets, and what you're gonna do is go over to the Bitcoin wallet, you're gonna click send. When you click send, it's gonna bring up a um, it's gonna bring up a pop-up window that looks like this. That address that we just copied from Binance is what we're gonna be entering in right here. So what I want you to do is, is paste that in there, then verify the last four or five digits on that address just so you made sure that you're copying, pasting the right wallet address into the right spot. This just right here shows you're gonna be withdrawing from another, um, from your Coinbase wallet address and then you're gonna put like a hundred dollar, you know, hundred bucks or something in here, whatever it may be, you're gonna go down and click continue. From there, it brings up a window that looks like this. Again, you're just gonna to wanna to verify that address that you, you just copy and pasted. So we came from right here, so we wanna flip back to Binance. If the last four digits of your um, deposit, deposit address say H-E-R-E, -E, we're gonna go over here, oops, skipped ahead one, we're gonna go over here and just verify that we have that address correct. Then all we're gonna do, uh, we're gonna go down and click confirm. Once we click confirm, we'll have to actually put in our um, SMS verification code. That's just a safety preca precaution that Coinbase has. Once we do that, click confirm, that money will be sent. Now, we're just gonna flip back to Binance, and uh, this is the page we were just on. We were in the funds page. We did the deposit, we copied this out, we um, we copied it out and pasted it into a different wallet so we could actually send money to Binance. Now we're just gonna kinda track and watch our money come in. So we're gonna go back up to the funds tab and we're gonna go to history. From history, it'll bring you to a page that looks like this. As you can see, deposit history. Here is our incoming transaction. You can see it's confirming one of two. Once this hits two of two, we will have money in our account to go buy a specific coin. And as you can see right here, here are a couple other completed transactions. Now, um, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go back to the exchange. So again, guys, the, the two tabs that we use are the funds exchange and the, ex the, I'm sorry, the funds tab and the exchange tab. So all we're gonna do is we're gonna go up, click exchange, and then click basic and it's gonna bring us to a page that looks like this. This is our basic exchange. A couple key things to know, let me move my melon, is uh, these right here are your pairings. So since we sent Bitcoin over to Binance, we wanna make sure we have the Bitcoin or the BTC pairing selected, which we do, you can see it's high lit. And then also right here, as I mentioned earlier, these are all our coins. Um, this just verifies what selection we have. So in this case, it says XRP slash BTC. That means we selected XRP over here out of the list of coins. And then when we actually get into doing the trade for beginners, what I recommend is doing a market buy. A limit and a stop limit are a little more advanced moves that you guys can pick up at another time. But for the time being, market buy. This is the number one mistake I see most is people always forget to do the market buy if they want an instantaneous transaction. So anyway, um, from there, I'm actually going to cover um, how to withdraw before we get into doing our trading. So we're gonna go back up to the funds tab. Again, guys, we're gonna be doing a withdrawal now. So we're gonna go back up to the funds tab. We click funds and then deposit withdrawal and it brings us to this page. Again, I want you guys to type in BTC right here on the left-hand side so there are no mistakes made when you're depositing money. You don't wanna deposit something else, or I'm sorry, you don't wanna withdraw another coin and send it to a BTC wallet, so I highly recommend typing that in there. So all we're gonna do is we're gonna go over to the withdraw button. We're going to get, we're gonna click that and it's gonna bring down this um, drop down. Now all you're gonna do is you need to go to the wallet that you wanna send it to, and in this case it is Coinbase, so it's our Coinbase wallet, so we're gonna go over here, we are actually going to click receive this time, and it'll bring up a window that looks like this, you'll see your, Q, um, your QRC code here, and then here is your wallet address. If you click this little box right here that will copy your address for you, we're gonna then go back to Binance and we're gonna paste your address here. Once you actually paste the address here, just double verify that it's correct.
then what we're going to do is send the max amount or whatever amount you have. You know, I usually do a max amount just because these decimal places run super deep. So click the max amount, then click submit. After you click submit, your Google Authenticator is going to pop up. That is where you're going to um, put in your six digit code on that Authenticator. And then one more security um, one more security breach pops up and it just says you need to go to your email and verify that you actually want to send this money somewhere else. So then you would then go back and log into your super cool guy at yahoo.com email. You'll find the email from Binance and verify your, um, your withdrawal. And that is it for deposits and withdrawals. Now is actually the fun part. So the very first thing that we are going to do is we're gonna flip over to Binance. Now, this is a new account I set up, so I don't have any more than like 20 bucks on here, but um, we will just go with this coin that we wanna buy. So the very first thing we're gonna do is we're just gonna verify we are on the BTC um, pairing, which we are, as you can see, it's highlight, highlight here, it says BTC. We're gonna use this coin, N-E-B-L slash BTC. We're gonna collect, we're gonna click that. Once we click that, a new set of candles will come up, as you can see here. We're gonna also just verify that we have the right coin selected here. Um, this is uh, currently trading at $24.46. So all we're gonna do is go down, we're gonna click, it normally starts out on market, and this is where people get confused or I'm sorry, it normally starts out on limit and this is where people get confused. So I want you guys to click market. After you click market, if you just click in the amount box, this is super easy, it will show you the max amount that you can buy. I sent a, about 25 bucks over um, to uh, um, over from my uh, Coinbase account to Binance for this tutorial. So if I click that here, you can see my max amount is $1. I'll click out of there and then in this case, we're just gonna buy 25% 25, 25 of one coin here. So I can get 0 0.27 um, NEBL. And since I'm on the market tab, this purchase will be instantaneous. You, there you go, the success box popped up. Now the same thing is gonna happen with a sell. So if I go over to sell and I click the max amount I want to sell, you can see again, 0 0.27, um, we'll, we'll, sell, we'll sell, gosh, we'll sell, 100% of that and we'll sell that back into Bitcoin. So when I click that, boom, that's all we do to buy and sell a coin at a market price. Now what a limit buy is, is a specific amount. So the market buy buys at the price that the coin is currently at. So the coin is currently trading at 0 0.0150. So I'm just gonna refer to that as 150. Um, so 150 just to make these numbers easy. Now, um, if I do a market buy, the if I do a market buy again, it's instantaneous. If I do a a limit buy, this number, this one forty nine zero three, pops up in here automatically. Now, if I were to do a buy right then, what would happen is this one zero point zero one five zero would actually need to drop down to this one. 4903 number for the buy to go through. That's why I recommend for beginners to use the market buy. That way you don't have any waiting if you have your heart set on getting this coin. But at the same time, let's say this is this trend is going down and I don't want to buy this coin until it hits 1200. So all I would do is change my price to 1200. Now when these candles drop all the way down to the 1200 range, that's when it'll make my buy. And you can do that um, anytime you're buying or selling. Now, if I wanted to you know, sell at a certain price too, let's say this price is way, way high, and I wanna see how high it can go, I can set a sell amount you know, just like I can on a buy amount. Now, also, the last thing I'm gonna cover is a stop limit, and this always seems to be very confusing to people, and, and, it, and it's not. Um, we're gonna use whole numbers here just so it makes it super easy. So. Let's say right now that NEBL is is selling at ten dollars a piece, and you want to you want to sell it off for no less than nine dollars. So all we're gonna do is we're gonna set this up. The things to know is the limit is the amount um, the amount of money that you want to sell it for. So in this case, let's say we're gonna sell it for eight dollars and um, that's the lowest amount we will take is this eight bucks. 
So then, what it's let's say it's currently trading at twelve dollars. We need to set up a trigger. So if it's currently trading at twelve dollars, and we we want to set a buy order at a certain price, currently trading at twelve. If it hits the ten dollar mark, um, that is when it's going to trigger the eight dollar sell order. So that's it. If I did a terrible job at explaining that, I'm going to do it one more time. NEBL is currently trading at twelve dollars. The least amount that we will want to sell this for is eight dollars. So when if the price drops from twelve to ten, it's going to trigger a sell order. Now the the important thing is the trigger. The ten dollar price point, um, the ten dollar price point starts the trigger to sell at eight. So all and this makes it actually very simple. What we're about to cover is all we're going to do is click sell. Oh well, I actually have to put an amount here. Um, I don't think I have any to do. I don't think I have any left in here. Bummer. So anyway, well, it looks like I need to buy some really quick. So we are going to do a market buy, 25% buy this, succeed, stop limit, 10 a. Actually, I need to put in actual numbers here to show you guys. But for the example, we use the 12, 10, and 8. In this case, what I'm going to do is 0 0.0015. The zero does need to be in front, and then the limit will be point, oops, 0 0.0014, the amount max, so we'll do 100%, and then we'll sell. This is the best part right here that you know you're doing it right. So it says, if the list price raises to or above 0 0.015 BTC, a sell order for 0 0.27 NEBL, at the price of 0 0.14 BTC will be placed. So using our example in whole numbers, this would technically say, if the uh, last price raises to or above $10 BTC, an order to sell 0 0.27 NEB at a price point of $8 will be placed. Is this correct? All we're gonna do is click yes, and then that is how you set, that, that is how you set a stop limit. And that is pretty much it, guys. That covers your basics of everything you need to know to get started with Binance. Um, if you found this video helpful, if this is the first time you are on here, I do post new videos every single day um, to provide quality content. So if these are helpful, by all means, subscribe. If not, not a big deal. I will totally check you guys in the next video. Have a great evening and good luck with your trades.